What's up, everybody? This is Chimony. We are back with another video. Listen, today we have a hot topic to discuss that's been buzzing in the music industry. SA superstar Nasty C has sparked some controversy with this bold statement about the current state of music in SA. Not that, in, not in SA only, okay? He believes that I'm a piano and Afro beats are better than hip hop guys do you guys hear that nasty c right from nasty c the actual hip hop person i mean the one of the top hip hop person the person that actually made his name go internationally you hear what i mean this is the person who is well known international even though now he's trying to I, I don't know now he's he's starting to become to talk too much are we starting to be kaiser not or what are we doing here you know what i mean the very gen that launched his career well let's get into details and see what is the breakdown of nasty c's perspective about this but before we get into this make sure that you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like and share okay let's jump right into this it's going to be very short okay Nasty C, uh, the other day, you know, during the, the Iverson gaming session on Twitch, right? So this shared his thoughts on the growing dominance of Ama Piano and Afrobeats. He mentioned that although he doesn't mean all the songs in this genre, he feels that the ones that actually go viral, they stand out. When I'm thinking, I know that a couple of years ago, I had tweeted about, you know, I had, did I tweet? No, it wasn't a tweet. I posted something about Ama Piano because it was kind of like, you know, the, the beginning of the Ama Piano. And, you know, we did not know what was going on. Like, what is this Ama Piano? And another person actually kind of embarrassed me because it was like, how dare you don't know Ama Piano? Where do you come from? Like, listen, I don't know what is Ama Piano. I, I didn't know. And that was back in 2020. I think that was the beginning of, of the and i did not know what i'm a piano was and this person was just like calling me out you know i'm like i swear to god i did not know i was like i was like i did not know he was like you can't tell me chris brown knows what i'm a piano is you're gonna tell me that you don't know what i'm a piano is but you come from like africa like you're supposed to know what i'm a piano is i'm like i am not lying to you i did not know and god knows i did not know but then once i found out once i listened to the music i was like oh my god this is this is the music this is the future you know and i kind of like stopped you not not like stop but i kind of like got into listening to it over and over and over again just kind of like adjusting to it and i fell in love with it well let's go back to what Nassisi said so he pretty much mentioned that the original instruments and the melodies um basically set them apart of which you know um that's what we know he mentioned that he, that set them apart from the hip-hop and you know which he feels like hip hop actually relies more on sampling videos and sampling the audio, the audio. And I was like, that is true because if you if you listen to Nasty C, it's more like a a, a recycle of lyrics, a recycle of beat, recycle of everything. But when you go to Ama Piano, Ama Piano actually it origination of everything. Like every sound that thing it's new it's a brand new something that you've never heard before which is like oh my god this is this is you know i, I might side with him when it comes to this but everyone is kind of like surprised that this is one of the top hip-hop artists that is well known you know he tried to make his life in america it did not work and now he's tending to be kai Sinat, or are you trying to be kai Sinat, or what are you trying to be right now dj academies we don't know. No, you're not going to get there. I I'm kidding people. I'm not, I'm not even going there. But this is just how I feel. You know, he also praised the creativity behind it and behind the music videos as well and the Afrobeats. And he particularly pointed the song, the Nigerian's long-standing reputation for producing the exceptional uh, visuals, you know, because when you think about the Afrobeats, really Afrobeats uh, I would say, I'm not going to say it originates from Nigeria, from West Africa, but, you know, <laughs> you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. But let's, let, let's think about it. That might be the truth. But anyway, I mean, this adds up to another layer of appeal. It is what it is. That's how he feels. And that's how a lot of people feel. Sometimes I feel like a lot of artists actually feel like that, but they can't say it because, you know, they are already in this industry. They're already in the hip hop genre and they can't speak out. But him 
doing Twitch and, and, and starting to be more vocal. You know, he wasn't that vocal a lot, but him starting to get more vocal on Twitch and he will start saying a lot of nonsense and people are not going to like it. You better be careful what you say and not to see that because mm, some people are not going to like this, but we love it because we are the main supporters and the listeners of I'm a Piano. All right, guys, we're going to conclude it right here. Make sure you hit the subscribe, make sure you hit the like, hit the share. I'll see you guys with another video. Peace out.